Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jean. I really appreciate you stopping by to watch this video. If you are new here and you love handbags as much as I do, please consider subscribing and joining my growing community. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. As always, it is much appreciated. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about the five luxury brands that I'll likely buy from. I was tagged in this video from the lovely Simply Her perspective, so I really appreciated her thinking about me. So I wanted to come on and share with you all the five brands that I am really eyeing at the moment and have been for some time and talk about these bags and I'll put um, over here or over here um, screenshots of these bags as I talk about them. I'm also gonna tag a few other YouTubers I love um, because I would love to see what's on their radar as well. So David over at David's Closet, Candy from Candy Sweet Love for LV, Sarah at Lux Lover Sarah, Amy, Amy Michelle Luxury, Erin from Handbag Housewife and Rakita from Rakita's Closet because she is hilarious. Um, her recent video about Louis Vuitton customers, honestly, I was rolling on the floor laughing. She is lovely. She is hysterical. So do check out her channel. And then lastly, I got to throw a mention over to the wonderful Dale at Dale's Addiction. She did a video similar to this not too long ago. So I doubt she will participate in this tag, but she has been so supportive of me and my channel and my handbag journey. And she is wonderful. So I have to mention her at every opportunity. If you do not already watch these channels, check them out. Um, so we're gonna get started now and I'm gonna go through the five brands that I am eyeing. I do have some notes here, so I will be looking down periodically, um, but we're gonna kick it off with Goyard. Now I have never held a Goyard bag. I've never been in a Goyard boutique. I do have concerns with them over things I have heard about their quality and particularly their canvas being thin and not holding up over time. I don't know how true that is, um, but at some point I will be going in and checking them out because the number one bag on my radar, that is the Belvedere MM size bag. The bag comes in two sizes, the smaller PM and the larger MM size. It's just a classy uh, satchel type bag. It comes in a wide variety of colors. And one thing that annoys me about Goyard is the basic color is cheaper than all the other colors. The other colors are all more expensive. I don't know why, of course, you know, I'm not an expert in the costs and materials and maybe it does cost more to make these colored bags. But obviously for me, I'm eyeing the orange one because I love orange, it's my favorite color. It just, I don't know, it makes me feel happy. Um, so what I love about this bag is it is a shoulder bag. It's got a nice uh, flap over it with a really pretty silver clasp with Goyard embossed on it. And it has, I believe, a back pocket, although I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but this would just be a really beautiful bag to carry around, especially when I move down south where it's warm most of the year. Um, and I love on the orange color bag, the beautiful yellow interior. So as I said, this does come in a wide variety of colors, which is that's one thing I love about Goyard is you get the beautiful Goyard Jacquard, I think it's called. Um, pattern and there's a color for everyone. The second bag I'm eyeing over at Goyard is the Sock Hardy PM and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, that's how you would say Hardy in English. I don't know how you would pronounce it in French but this is a nice size like tote bag and the handles look really long. So it should be easy for someone like me or some, those bigger people of us that don't have those tiny thin little arms to carry this bag over our shoulder. And like the Belvedere, it comes in a wide variety of colors. I would lean towards the orange. Now, 
If I bought all three of these Goyard bags over time, they would not all be orange. I would get different colors, like I really love the blue and the yellow as well. But the first bag I buy from them is definitely going to be orange. But I also love that this bag has a little uh, pouch, pochette that comes with it that does attach um, to the inside of the bag so you could stick more valuables in there. And it also has a zippered closure, uh, which adds additional security um, to the bag. And I just think it's really beautiful. I love the Goyard pattern. I've determined that I really like bags with some type of monogram pattern on them. And I'm finding it difficult to carry my plain bags because I'm seeing them as boring now. Um, so this fits right in line with... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if you heard that. Somebody just dumped a ton, bunch of glass in recycling. But I love the pattern of Goyard bags. The third one I am considering, it's called the Sac Vendôme PM size. And this bag, it reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Alma. Again, comes in a bunch of colors. It has a very similar shape and profile to the Vuitton Alma bag. Um, it's trimmed in this beautiful leather, and I think the uh, detail where the straps attach is really, really beautiful and interesting. Now, I have a Louis Vuitton Alma bag already, so I think this probably would be my Goyard purchase after I bought the other two, um, but it does look like it comes with an internal pocket. I cannot tell if it comes with a shoulder strap or not. Um, I guess I maybe should have scrolled down on the website, but it doesn't appear to me that it does because I don't see anywhere you can attach it, but I've become more accustomed to carry top handle bags. The next brand I'm considering, and I'm considering this brand because I want a brand that's less flashy, that if somebody sees, they're not going to be like, oh, it's Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Goyard, Dior, whatever. I want it to be more nondescript and less flashy, but I also want it to be luxurious and high quality. And a brand I've been eyeing for a long time is Mulberry. It's a British brand. Um, they make some beautiful bags. The one I'm really eyeing is the Utility Postman's Buckle Crossbody. It's just a small crossbody bag with a detachable shoulder strap. It has lovely silver hardware and looks like it has some internal organization with a smaller slip pocket in the front and a more big open space uh, with inside the bag. It does uh, appear to be made of high quality leather. Uh, I think it's really a beautiful and interesting bag and more on that nondescript side. So you can, I don't want to be too flashy sometimes, especially if I'm seeing clients. I definitely don't want to bring a Vuitton bag or a Dior bag because it's a lot of money and I just don't want to be that flashy sometimes. So this bag is really high on my radar and it looks like a good alternative uh, to that. And they do have a few different colors. I would lean towards the gray one that I have shown on the screen. The other bag I'm considering from Mulberry is the Antony Messenger bag. It is bigger than the Utility Crossbody and it is made in nice leather. It doesn't appear that the shoulder strap is detachable. I do prefer a detachable shoulder strap, so when they're on my shelf, the shoulder strap is tucked inside, but this bag appears to have more capacity than the Utility Crossbody, and it is in a really lovely uh, leather as well, and they do offer different colors. I actually almost bought an orange one several months ago, but I decided not to, and I'm glad I did because I recently did buy an orange bag that I'm going to unveil next weekend as part of a collaboration. Um, it's a bigger bag, so I still do need a smaller orange bag, but my heart is really set on that Goyard Belvedere. Uh, the next brand I'm really interested in is the Givenchy Antigona bag. Now, when I first got into 
luxury handbags. This was my dream bag, the Antigona. Um, it comes in a variety of sizes. I want the largest size. Um, I, I remember when I first went into Neiman Marcus and I had not been in any luxury boutique at any point when I went into Neiman Marcus and I saw a shelf full of Antigonas and I almost fell over. Um, they didn't have one in a color that I would want and it's been a while since I actually checked the Givenchy website uh, to see if they have some new colors. I'm not really a black bag person, although you can see on the screen as I showed that bag how beautiful that shiny black version is but I think it's really risky because that is really gonna show scratches, I believe. Um, I do think I need a black bag, and I also like how it's pretty nondescript. It does have the Givenchy on the front, but it's not plastered all over. I just think it's a beautiful, timeless piece, and to me, this is like Givenchy's house bag, like the maybe the Alma or the Speedy or the Never Full Art or Louis Vuitton or the Birkin and Kelly to Hermes or the classic flap to Chanel. To me, this is this is Givenchy's like house bag that's always gonna be there. The next brand I'm considering is Louieve, and really only the puzzle bag. That is the only bag I like in Louieve's lineup. It is pretty nondescript as well. It does just have a small Louieve logo on the front. I think the design of it is unique and interesting, and it does come with a shoulder strap, and it also has a top handle, which gives you that versatility, and the shoulder strap does uh, detach. I think it's geometrically an interesting bag. It's unique. It's unlike any other bag. Of course, it's beautiful and high quality. It's got a nice zipper closure and some internal storage. So this could just make for a really beautiful everyday bag. The next brand and the last brand I'm going to talk about is Longchamp. Now I am considering getting a Le Pilliage, um, but I'm not talking about that bag today because the bag I'm really interested at uh, from Longchamp is the box trap bag. Um, it's just a nice shoulder bag and it has the beautiful jockey logo as the clasp. It does have a little bit of internal organization uh, with a little slip pocket there as well as a um, interior space for everything else and then it has a nice shoulder strap. It does come in a few different colors and a few different varieties. For me I would get the medium size. I think it's just beautiful and at $720 I mean it's that's still a lot of money but for a, a for a well-known high what am, I, what am I trying to say? Like, I was going to say high octane. Like, that's not the right word. But a highly visible luxury brand that everyone knows. Their bag prices are really, really reasonable. And I believe they are as high of quality as any other luxury brand. Um, their prices are just lower. And I think the Box Trot is a really cool bag. And it's also... Um, a more nondescript bag. Uh, so there you have it, the five brands that I am currently considering. I would love to hear your thoughts below, and I would love for any of you to ride this tag that I haven't mentioned, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Uh, thank you, and I will see you in a week.